All right, if you're in the real estate space, check out this free training. We're gonna go through three simple steps on how you can get five extra deals this year simply through Instagram. I'm gonna cover key number one, which is gonna be project management system, having a good system. Two is good content, how to create good content that's going to attract people into your business. And key number three is digital door knocking, which is a simple strategy that you can use to actually generate business from your Instagram. So check it out. Be sure to subscribe to the channel for future videos just like this and leave a comment down below with your thoughts on this. Uh, enjoy. All right. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to this quick free training. Should be about 20 minutes or so, but should be a great investment of your time as it pertains to um, learning how to get an extra five deals this year through social media and specifically through Instagram. So we're gonna talk about the content masterclass. So if you are here right now, uh, obviously this is a internet training and an online training, but really I, I wanna call this out that there's two types of people who watch these watch these trains. There's the, the first type of people who are here just to get a bunch of free information. They get excited and, and they move on and they go about their days. And there's the second type of people whose phone is in do not disturb right now they're present, they're engaged, they're, they're watching the video, they're, they're taking notes throughout the video, and they, they pull something from this, and they start to take immediate action, and they see immediate fruit from it. So we want you to be like the second type of people as it pertains to uh, uh, the ones watching this, and because that's how you're going to get the most out of this. So um, really my encouragement to you is, is just to listen and watch for one one or two things that you can take immediate action on. Maybe it's maybe it's the DMing, maybe it's the digital door knock, maybe it's the the content and writing the scripts, um, whatever it could be. Just just look for one or two uh, things that you could do. So I'm gonna jump into this because I want to be efficient with your time as well. So really, what I'm gonna teach you is I'm gonna teach you how to get an extra five deals this year from your Instagram. Does that sound like a sound like a good thing? Does everyone want extra five deals? I'm sure, I'm sure it does. And this is gonna be with no ads men, no cold calling, no door knocking, no being annoying, no doing things that you hate. Um, Cause I'm sure nobody uh, who could be listening is, is enjoying doing that kind of stuff. And we're gonna just use a super simple system that anyone can do literally starting tomorrow or literally starting today. And this is the kind of stuff that is leading to fruit, like what you see on the screen. Hazel, okay, cool, got a, a $600,000 closing, $800,000 in pre-approvals. Cool, a referral literally in the DMs, okay? If you guys commit to this, if you guys take action on this, you will see the fruit. You're on this training for a reason. You're investing your important time for a reason, and that is for uh, one reason, to learn how to get business on social media, okay? Um, cool. So really, we all know that this whole social media stuff is freaking hard, right? There's gurus down your throat. Like you got to post 10 times a day or you're not going to see anything. Like, trust me, I'm an online guru, la da 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 Like just simply, frankly, annoying at the end of the day. And then you probably are getting these ads and cold emails or cold texts that are saying, hey, we're going to get you 127 leads in 30 days guaranteed or you don't pay. It's like, cool, that seems really enticing until you invest into it and you figure out these 127 leads are absolutely trash. So um, there's a lot of information out there. And in addition, you're probably seeing your competitors use it. So if I type in hashtag real estate, hashtag mortgage, there's millions of posts that people are using these hashtags on indicating that there's millions of people using social media on a consistent basis, okay? There's real stories, posts, ads, retargeting, trending music, bubbles. What do I do? How do I do this? getting cold email, getting cold text, talking to gurus. How the heck am I supposed to keep my brain organized? And ultimately, you just feel like this. You're just like, what the frick do I even do? And how do I even generate business from this? Okay, I get it. Like, I, I've been there. We've all been there. Who do I listen to, et cetera, right? So what we're going to cover is how you can do this through, through social media because we're of the belief that this is one of the best ways to get business, especially in the real estate space. And the reason why is because there's 300 million people on social media every single day. 90% of the population is, is using social media. And the time spent on social media is three hours a day. Like this is a ton of attention on a platform that you can then go to. You know, we're often of the belief that if, if we are spending time uh, on social media and, and not using it to our advantage, that uh, we're never going to see fruit. But if you guys take notes, if you guys are, are open-minded in this, in this presentation, then you will start to see the fruit. Okay. 
quick intro. So Austin, who's this kid on, on a call right now and trying to teach me how to do this. So I was a former real estate agent myself, read the red book, uh, studied it like back of my hand, did all the touches, did all, did all the stuff, did all the door knocking, got rejected a bunch of times, did the cold calling. And then I was like, man, like I could really freaking start to uh, scale up my business if I just start using video and start using social media because my friends are on there and that's where a lot of the attention is. And this was six years ago. Okay. And so what I did is I started pumping out the videos. This was in 2018, hammering out the videos, doing house tours, educating people. And what led to it was real life business. I'm talking, I'm a 24 year old kid selling million dollar homes. My first ever listing was $2 million from Instagram. Okay. Like it's possible. In addition, I got on radio, I was on the TV, got some press. Um, so there's a lot of massive opportunities. And then Sean, who's our business partner in the content masterclass, similar story. He came from the car business. He was not crushing it and, and decided to join his brother in, um, in real estate. And since then he founded the Batista twins, where he is probably one of the top EXP agents right now. Um, he's the number one Washington realtor on social media um, with 28,000 followers on Instagram, majority of the business coming from Instagram. Also 114,000 on TikTok. Inman's been recognized, or he's been recognized in Inman um, as one of the top people to follow. And really now we're, we're committing a lot of our time to the content masterclass to teach what we've been able to learn in order to help people just like you watching grow their business through, through that. So, um, uh, just kind of wrapping it all together. Like we've, we've served hundreds of people. We've, we've done thousands of videos for people. So it's not like this is our first rodeo millions of views generated an actual business coming from social media. I want to make that very clear because there's a lot of skepticism in this whole social media game and, and ways to do it. And, and like I mentioned earlier, it's, it can be frankly just overwhelming. So are we ready to jump in? Cool. Hopefully you are all set. So really what we want to do is we want to think about our social media like this. We have the pull, which is the content. We're pulling people in with our content. We have the push, which is the sales. We're using social media to our advantage and not abusing it. So what most people do is they freaking put their hand on their head and their eyes are spinning. And they're freaking confused on what to even do or how to even start generating business on social media. So really that leads me to the key first key, which is, which is building a system to system to scale time and time again, we hear content takes too much time. This takes way too much freaking time. There's no way I could do this. This is just a waste of my time, et cetera, et cetera. And then you're like, okay, I feel motivated. I'm going to give this a shot. And then four hours into creating, creating content, you only come out with one video and you're just overwhelmed and you're just like, shoot, I could have been cold calling. I could have been doing more income producing activities. And really the reality is just most people just suck at systems, especially when it comes to their social media. Like I, I get it. It can be confusing. You're not in the social media space. You don't own a marketing company. You're not a head of a marketing department. So it can be really hard to figure out what is the best way to go. So what most people will do is they'll post when it's convenient for them, when they think of something randomly or they saw a video that inspired them or, or maybe they hear a guru talk about that you need to start posting. And then um, they'll maybe hit that for a week or so and then they'll get too busy or they'll forget or they'll run out of ideas or they'll like uh, um, just simply like not prioritize it. And really that leads to missing out on reaching thousands of people just simply due to lack of preparation. And then really the cycle repeats. Like you, you feel inspired, you feel motivated, and then you get too busy and forget. And really it's just not sustainable whatsoever. If you are in real estate, you run a business, right? Like you are a 1099 for the most part if you're if you are in real estate, and um, it's important to treat it like one, okay? Just like you have a system for buyers, just like you have a system for sellers, just like you have a system for other areas of your business, you need one just like for social media. So, and the reality is, is if you're too busy to create a good system for your content, you're always gonna be too busy to create a good system for your content. One of my favorite quotes is design beats willpower, okay? If we have a design that we can manage and we can, um, we can use on a daily basis, that's going to be any, any willpower that's going to be required. Okay. If we, if we follow the system, then we can work the system versus need to feel motivated in order to do it. Okay. That makes sense. Cool. Well, here's, here's a, here's a, um, a design that you guys can simply follow. First step is to have a project management system that, 
uh, allows for consistency. So project management by definition is the application of processes, methods, skills, and knowledge and experience to us to achieve specific objectives. Okay. Knowing this, what is the application of processes, methods, knowledge, and expertise that you can use as it pertains to social media? Okay. This is super simple. So what we do is we use notion, a tool called notion, and we build out a table to, to kind of map out all of our ideas, all of what we're going to be doing. When it comes to social media, we can, we can sort by if it's ready to post, if we need to write a script for it, or, or just give us constant ideas on um, repeat. So that's just housed in our notion and we're able to reference it whenever we need to. Okay, this is a very sustainable thing that allows us to post 30 videos per month without literally burning out, okay? It takes less than three hours a month to do this. It is, it is a no-brainer. So a project management system is the, is the first, first thing as it pertains to your design. Secondly, is knowing your brand, okay? Having a strong brand allows you to control perceptions of what people are thinking on social media, okay? About almost 90% of people will visit somebody's social media before they actually do business with them, okay? So what is the perception that people are having about you right now? Is it while they're are they even in business? Are they a realtor? Are they in mortgage? Like what, like what, what are they thinking of when they see you? Okay. When you think of Bentley, what do you think about? When you think of Four Seasons, when you think of Comcast, what do you think about? Okay. Now ask yourself this, what do you think other consumers think about when they're hitting on your page? Is it just like, um, uh, I'm not sure, or I'm not, they're not confident. So having a strong brand, knowing your brand is, is super important. So what we do is we do a, a brand pillar exercise with people Basically, what we ask them to do is just write 10 facts about yourself and then circle the five that you want to be remembered for. So if you're taking notes right now, this is a good thing to just kind of like pause and, and say, okay, I need to do this and put this on your to-do list. So what you're going to do is you're going to write 10 facts about yourself and you're going to circle the five that you want to be remembered for. Okay, and that becomes your brand pillars. This is a super simple way to do it that can just kind of get you rock, rock and roll. Because the most important thing about a brand, in my opinion, is that you are authentic. Right. Everybody wants to be somebody else, but you are unique and um, that's going to portray through your social media. OK. And then uh, the third thing is the proper apps and software. So there's about two million apps in the app store right now. So it can be very overwhelming of what kind of apps do I need? What should I do, especially when it comes to content creation? And you start to just do this and rub your head and you're like, I'm freaking overwhelmed. I'm over this. Okay, what we recommend is just simply the Captions app, which is about 10 bucks a month. Notion, as I mentioned earlier, which is free, and then CapCut, which is about $7.99. Fairly, fairly simple, okay? Um, and then uh, fourthly is, is the mindset shift on how to actually look at social media. Okay, again, I'm gonna keep beating this point home. There's 300 million people actively on social media. Okay, the mindset shift needs to go from, okay, social media is an entertainment tool to social media is a business development tool. Okay, to me and to Sean, this is an income producing activity that should not take 20 hours per week if used effectively, which is why we hound the system and having a system uh, so hard, okay? And then lastly is a team to help, all right? Like, he, like every good player has a coach, every good player has a, has a team around them to help them be successful. And really that's what uh, Sean and I really wanna lean into. But if you don't have one, like look at who, who can help me, whether it's somebody in your office or, or somebody who's maybe more savvy in your office that you can lean on to get, um, get some help. So really with all these in place, you should be able to consistently have 20 plus pieces of content less than bars of your time all in, like no joke. Like that's what I'm able to do, that's what Sean's able to do, that's what all of our uh, students in the Content Masterclass are able to do. Okay, makes sense? This leads me to my second key, which is pulling the clients into content or in from content, okay? So a lot of people we hear is content doesn't actually work. It's a waste of time. I'm not getting traction. I'm only getting 100 views. Like this is just not the best use of my time. Okay, I've heard that time and time again because a lot of people are judging their, their success on virality. Like they go on, they go on social media. I need to be viral. I need to grow. I need to scale. I need to get a million views. Da da da, which is just not the success metric, and and you get discouraged when it actually does not happen um, after your posting. Okay, who here has been discouraged after getting a post that after having a post that does a hundred views? Probably you probably think to yourself, this is a total waste of time. Like, I don't want to do this for a hundred views. That's stupid. Okay. But think about this. When was the last time you spoke in front of 100 people providing value? Okay, do you think just one of those people could 
need your services in the next one to three years? Cool. Which leads up me to the second point on this whole thing, which is it's consistency over going viral. If you focus on being consistent, having a good system, creating good content, which we're going to touch on, you're going to get videos to get good traction and eventually gain thousands of views. Okay, here's some of our clients, 21,000, 14,000. Myself got a million, 14,000 pretty consistently. Okay. So the idea with pulling people in is uh, you want to be able to bring people in with a strong brand, knowing your brand, having a good system through consistency, and eventually they're going to you're going to attract your ideal client to you because you are on brand, you're authentic, and you want to work with probably people who who you uh, um, enjoy working with. And if you have a brand and you have uh, uh, something that you're standing for, then people are going to come to you. Okay. At the end of the day, you have a brand, whether you know or not, and the ability to control it, which is at the end of the day, content. Okay. We're of the belief that the best known is going to be the best all day, every day. The more known you be can become through content, through consistency, the more business that you're going to get. Okay. So a lot of people and just, you might even be thinking, okay, what, what sort of content do I need to be create, creating? What kind of content do I create? And then what happens is people start to do think they need to point at bubbles and, and do stuff that just makes them feel awkward and look really awkward. But at the end of the day, there's two, two types of content, which is authority entertaining. You can do a mix of two, which is edutainment, which um, you can find on Sean's TikTok where he does a really good job of doing that. Um, but I'm going to lean into the authority because that's um, where my expertise for the most part is and where you can really position yourself as an authority. And I think where a lot of people need a lot more help. I'm not going to coach you on how to how to dance or do anything entertaining because it is on brand. I think entertaining and a layup as a real estate agent is house tours. But again, I'm a stick to authority. So authority style content is educational, personality driven, sharing your expertise, right? It's content that that scales trust, shows that you know what you're talking about. And probably the hardest to do at the end of the day because there's so much, um, so much that could go into it. And the reason that so many people fail at this type of content is because they're not preparing. They don't have a system. They don't have a script, right? I think so many people hear the word script and like, oh my gosh, I can't write a script. I'm not going to be able to write a script. Like such a waste of time. Like a hundred percent of the videos that brain makes for our clients. And we've done 4,000 use a script. Sean uses a script. Like it's, it's a no brainer for you to be able to communicate clearly. So you might be thinking, okay, I'm not a copywriter. Like this sucks. Like well, neither am I. Like I fail, I didn't even go to college. So, and I'm able to write copy and you might be thinking I failed English class. Well, absolutely. It was my worst subject growing up. Okay. Design beats willpower. So we need to create a design that's going to be the willpower, which I'm going to give you all of the secrets right now. Um, it's going to be any will to make a video. The separation is in the preparation. Okay. So we're going to do one together. Is that cool? Sweet. So we're just going to go to the process that allows me to communicate really clearly, get the views and uh, magnetize clients. And if you're taking notes, uh, this is a good time to take notes on, on this video because um, this is going to be really strong. And this is going to hopefully give you some, some juice on how to actually um, turn your content into something that will magnetize people into it. Okay. So first step is really the topic. And people think, okay, I need to be super niche. And, and talk about something really specific to my industry. No, please don't do that. People think they need to talk about amortization and, and cap rates and all these jargon that they, that they think makes them sound smart. It just makes you sound dumb. Like that's not a good way to communicate. People think they need to sell something. Okay, call me right now for, for free buyer's consultation. Call me right now to be pre-approved. Like, no, please stop doing that, okay? What we wanna do is we wanna do value. We want to we want to be broad with the topics because not everybody's going to want to hear a really niche specific topic. It's not going to be relevant if um, if someone's like it's it's just we want to be more broad with the topic, which I'm going to get into in a second. And we want to be relevant. Like the one thing that we need to realize is that people scroll social media selfishly. Like I'm never scrolling social media, and probably you're the same way. And you're like, I wonder what someone achieved. Let me look on social media. It's like, no, you go because you want something from it. You want value, you want education, you want entertainment, okay? People are scrolling on social media for themselves. So if you can be the one that's giving them value, entertainment, education, then you're going to be positioned really good, okay? So 
after we have the topic that is giving them something, now we want to talk about a hook. It's time to hook them in, okay? And really the hook is, is the first three seconds of the video. So like um, Brennan Kane, who wrote a book, um, talks about if, if you want to get your message out to the world, you have three seconds to do so, and that is the hook. And this is what's gonna generate views, okay? You wanna get people to watch in the first three seconds of the video. So hook is not, so I wanna make this video, hook is not, hey, my name is Austin, and today I'm gonna talk about, hook is not, hey, what's up, thanks for tuning into the video. People are gonna scroll right past that. People are watching 15 TikToks a minute, so they're gonna scroll right next, right past your video. So you wanna hook them in with the first three seconds. And really where people miss is, is they talk too much about the features. The features of this, modern interior, you can get approved with low credit, like this loan product, this, et cetera, et cetera. When in reality, we wanna be focusing on the benefit to the consumer. Okay, catch this when you are communicating in video, catch this when you're communicating just in any of your marketing, we need to be focusing on the benefit. How does a low down payment benefit a consumer, right? What are the benefits? How the loan feature benefits the consumer? How does the home feature benefit the consumer? How does the relevant information you're providing benefit the consumer? That's the hook, okay? Is it cool if we do a couple together? Hope so. So buying rental properties. So maybe I wanna talk about buying rental properties. Okay, what is the benefit to the consumer of buying rental properties and how can we hook them in with that? So what I came up with was, here's how 90% of the wealthy get richer and how you can too. Okay, that's the benefit to the consumer, okay? Down payments. Here's one of the biggest lies about buying a house. My favorite restaurants in city. I'm a foodie and here are my top four restaurants in LA for a killer vibe, okay? I sell the crap out of houses. Like this is one thing, no benefit. People wanna talk about how much they just sold and really at the end of the day, consumers just counting your commission, okay? Here's how we sold this house for $200,000 over list price in just four days, okay? Is this making sense? We wanna focus on the benefit. Please catch this, all right? Next thing is the hook 2.0, which is the leading statement into the meat of the content. So we do the topic, which is relevant and value driven. And then the hook is in the copy. So it's benefit driven. And then now the hook 2.0, which is the leading statement into the meat of the content. For example, the truth about today's housing market is the hook and the hook 2.0 is, and this is what the media isn't telling you. Okay, I wanna keep watching that. Okay, we wanna keep them watching with the hook 2.0. Here are three simple steps to buying a home, and this is the same strategy we've used with over 20 home buyers this year. Okay, it's qualifying you. It's it's showing that you've done this before, and it's it's a strategy that that's been battle tested. Okay, so how you can do it is qualify yourself, and this is what I've learned after working with 100 home buyers in the last five years, whatever it is. Keep their attention. Don't spill the beans. We are told the lie that you have to save 20% down. We are told the lie that buying a house is no longer the American dream. Okay, FOMO, and most people are gonna miss this, transformational. And this is what separates the good from the bad. And this is what separates a good marketing for, for your house from bad marketing from your house, and that's staging, okay? Whatever it could be. Okay, now let's talk about content. Again, no jargon. Let's avoid 20 key takeaways. We want to be simple, and we want to talk to a beginner because you are talking to a beginner. Okay, this is where a lot of people miss. They want to talk technical, they want to get super technical on everything, but really we want to talk to a beginner because we are talking to beginners. You're in it every single day, so I get it, but um, we want to talk to somebody like it's like you're teaching a toddler. So how you can do this, steps one, two, three. Okay, step one, do this. Step two, do that. Step three, tell the story. Every good story has a villain and a hero. How you saved a deal, craziest story at open house. Okay, what is the villain and then you're the hero? Shorter the better. So typically we aim for 120-ish words. So if you use the project management system, if you have a project management board, use Readometer and you can just copy in your script to Readometer and you'll be able to um, uh, judge what the reading time would be, which is really helpful. Controversial. Talk about politics. Just kidding. Don't talk about politics. Um, talk about stuff that, that could be relevant, right? So for example, we did this one um, video with a client, how to deal with an asshole, okay? So that's controversial and caught people's attention, ended up getting 18,000 views. And uh, because some people are like, wow, I can totally rate, like there's totally assholes that are clients. And some people are like, oh my gosh, like no way, all my clients are amazing, this is awesome, okay? 
But think about this, like, should people buy condos? Should people save 20% down? What are your personal values? Share your opinion on something because that's what makes you, make that's what makes you, you and your brand you standing for something, okay? Last part is the call to action. So does not mean selling on every post, okay? We wanna do what's called a jab, 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 right hook. So I say like every five posts, you can do a call to action. So the jab is value, value, value. And then over time, you'll establish trust with people. And then when you do ask for a call to action, they should hopefully feel like they need to reciprocate the value. And that could be reaching out to you or asking questions or DMing them the word home. Like this is an easy call to action that you could do at the end of a video that could draw people in and it's led to success. So again, one of our clients got somebody DM the word home, never talked to him. Boom. Comment X if you want Y. So maybe this is a buyer's guide. Maybe this is a uh, like market breakdown. Maybe this is five trends in a PDF or maybe it's a newsletter or something like that. Did that, did that with something and got 69 comments. Okay, save this post, share with a friend. Okay, there's a lot of different things you can do, but just use it sparingly, okay? So I'm gonna recap real quick. The topic, you wanna be value to the client. Hook, it's gonna be the benefit to the client. So this is when you actually start talking on camera. Hook 2.0 is gonna keep them watching. It's gonna be that leading statement that we talked about. And then the content is gonna be very simple and then we're gonna do a call to action sparingly, okay? And what you're gonna do is you're just gonna template it in your project management board, exactly what we just went over. So if you have, have that pulled up, just make that as your template and you're pretty much good to go. Okay, and if you work smarter by consistently showing up and adding value, adding value, you will see your success on social media. Again, 15 posts a week, let's just say you have 1,000 people seeing you, that's 15,000 people per month that could potentially see your business. It's freaking incredible. And it's $180,000 year, per year at $0, okay? This is what is leading to success. Okay, $3 million referral, like no joke from social media, up 123 followers, a new real, uh, referral from, from out of state. Do, do people get referrals? Are you positioned to receive a referral? Like, are, is every realtor and their mom on social media? Yes. If you are active, if you're consistent, you will see the fruit. And I don't know about you guys, but one client does not just equal one deal. Like one client should equal five deals. So the lifetime value of investing into this for your business is massive. Okay. If you scale trust, you'll get more clients. All right. So now we have a content strategy. Literally, we cannot just expect people to come to us overnight. We need to do the push. So we need to push to find opportunities. So a lot of people I hear, I can't get deals on social media. I can't get any business on social media. There's no way. Like that's just a fallacy. People and gurus are just kind of hyping this up when what they're doing is this all day. They're abusing it and not using it. Again, 300 million people on social media. Okay. They are checking you out before they do business with you. Okay. So where most people miss is when they get into the business or just in general is I need to cold call. I need to go to events and, and just laugh at jokes that aren't funny. I need to, I need to go no, door knock and get lots of rejection and then just simply ends to burn when ends to burning out, which is probably not the reason that you got in business is to fail over and over again and, and end up not liking your job. Okay. The reality is you can do the same thing through social media, reach way more people without being weird, slimy or annoying. And that's what we call digital door knocking. Okay, so digital door knocking, essentially if you go to your hashtags on Instagram, maybe it's your city, maybe it's your interests, right? There are probably thousands of people that you can engage with. Okay, if you're a lender watching this, hashtag Seattle real estate, how many posts are there, right? Type in your farm area in the hashtags or your interests and you'll be good to go. Seattle, 732,000, Omaha, Nebraska, 445,000. Okay, what are your interests? Maybe you're a foodie, Seattle foodie. Maybe you like, maybe you have a golden doodle, golden doodle, Seattle golden doodles. Okay, there's a lot of different opportunities to do it. Same thing with locations, like type in your farm area and you'll be able to, to see a huge list. Contextual accounts. So what this means is like, say I'm a Seattle realtor that loves the food scene and has a dog. Cool, I'm gonna follow King 5 Seattle, Pike Place Market, Mud Bay, which is a local um, uh, dog store, Daniel's Boiler, which is a steakhouse, Puget Sound Business Journal. Okay, there's a bunch of people following them that are likely in your, or could be in your sphere or somebody that you could do business with, assuming these are your interests. Okay, where could you use contextual accounts? 
Okay, so now what you're going to do is what we call the double up. So you're gonna go through the posts on, on hashtags, you're gonna drop them a like and drop them a thoughtful content and you're gonna repeat that every single day. So drop them a like, drop them a content and repeat that every single day. You might be thinking, oh my gosh, this is super annoying. Like this is this is too much to do, like no way. Like I will just be annoying people, like this is worse than cold calling. It's like, no, people are posting on social media to be edified. Like when was the last time you ever posted on social media? You're like, I hope nobody sees this. I hope nobody likes this and or engages with this or likes my posts. Okay, people post on social media to be edified. And the funny thing is, is receiving the Instagram, like on Instagram study show is kind of like a drug hit. So you get to be a dopamine provider to people left and right. Like engage, use it, okay? So in really by doing this, what's gonna happen is the client will get a notification on their phone, on their Instagram. They'll think, who is this person that's liking my stuff? They'll go to your page, assuming your content is good and you're constantly adding value through educating them or entertaining them, they're gonna follow you. And now they're gonna be in your sphere, on your CRM, in your database, in your online database, and they're going to start seeing your consistent content and you'll be top of mind to them as it pertains to the real estate industry. Okay. Simple KPI that you could do is go to hashtags and locations, do it a hundred times a day, follow 20 people every single day. If you do something like this, like the results you should see is at least 30,000 people touched 1200 plus new followers. Okay. This is a absolute no brainer. Okay. The more hands you shake, the more money you make. And this is just on Instagram. We teach how to do it on LinkedIn, Facebook, uh, and, and, uh, other platforms with like groups and stuff too. But but this is just for, for Instagram. That's an easy KPI that you could do. And like what we'll do is we'll have like a KPI sheet in Notion to measure what you're doing. Again, this is what's going to lead to getting four deals. This is what's going to lead to multiple deals, right? In the DMs, literally, this is the client. So good. Already got a deal coming up from one of the things that they learned in the class. Okay. Is that making sense? I hope you're here and you're excited and you're feeling feeling good about everything, okay? So just to quickly recap, first thing that you wanna do is create a system to that you can follow without burning out. And then you wanna do content that's gonna magnetize your ideal client into your business and then you're gonna do the digital door knocking, okay? That's, this is this is your plan that you can execute on and, and start to see the results from, okay? And if you're here and you're like, oh my gosh, this is super overwhelming, you might be thinking, oh my gosh, like they're just fire hosing me right now. Like, how do I how do I do this? Like, how do I even start to begin to, to, to do this? I know I'm overloading you with information. We're, we're already 30 minutes in, but the truth is I couldn't cover all in one presentation if I tried. Um, like I, I would love to talk more about Facebook and Facebook groups and actual scripts and, and stuff along those lines. But what I can do if you're, if you're watching this is I can offer you a free consult. So basically on a free consult, I'll be happy to review what you're doing. I can review the content in your page and understand your goals and share some value on, on things that you can execute and answer questions from this training. And then after the call, if you are interested in working with us, we can talk about the content masterclass and talk about how it could potentially help level up your business. Basically it's one-on-one -on -one calls. We do, we give you all the scripts. We give you, uh, we do like a 90 day sprint phone call one-on-one -on -one with myself or Sean. We do weekly calls. You get access to a bunch of courses, community giveaways, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and it's clearly adding a lot of value to people. Um, if you want to get there faster and, and, uh, start to see fruit immediately, like John literally in one month, one month already is about to close on a buyer, which is awesome. And really worst case, like you'll get 30 minutes of our time without and coming out with some strategies and some ideas for your business. And, um, if you do book a call, like that's literally the worst thing that could happen, but best case you'll want to work with us and get there faster with proven techniques, tools, and tactics alongside a motivated community. So if this is striking a chord with you book a call down below if not thanks so much for for watching thanks for tuning in i'll put the link to book a call down below again happy to do a one-on-one -on -one with you and and see if there's any areas of opportunity that we can help scale your business up uh, thanks again for watching and hope to chat with you soon